Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Life Apollos. Happy to have you here. Uh, we have a lot to cover today. We have a whistle and diesel response to a very interesting supercar blondie post. We're gonna be talking about the brand new, maybe we would call it like a legacy hypercar for daily driven exotics. And we're also gonna be discussing yesterday's semi-controversial episode. And as always, guys, if I could very kindly ask you to delicately tap the like button with your own immaculate beard at home, it's free and it helps our channel out tremendously in the YouTube algorithm. And with that, Beard Nation, let's go! All right, first things first, guys, let's talk about yesterday's episode where we had a very lively conversation uh, about street racing, uh, street takeovers, and the likes of illegal activity shown on YouTube specifically. Now, I went into yesterday's episode uh, with the belief that I had a well-thought-out opinion on the matter, uh, but a lot of you guys left very intriguing and thoughtful comments in the comment section below, and it got me thinking that the discussion that we talked about yesterday needed a lot more nuance as we talked about it. It's part of the reason why I did yesterday's video to open a dialogue with people of the car community to find out if I was wrong in particular areas or not. So I want to thank everybody that left polite comments in yesterday's video. Uh, you have definitely helped open my eyes to some of the, the facets of what we were talking about that I definitely didn't think of initially. Next up guys, I have a very special shout out for the Bladed Angel channel uh, who just yesterday put up a video that uh, took a, a lot of guts to do. The video is entitled Why I'll Always Love Forza Horizon 3, and essentially the entire video is a discussion of how that particular game helped Bladed Angel deal with schizophrenia. Talking about a deeply personal issue like that, uh, it cannot be easy for anyone. A very, very powerful video. Uh, if nothing else, go over to the Bladed Angel channel and leave a comment of support. Uh, I think we should encourage people to share things like like this that can benefit so many people. Additionally, on a side note, uh, if you're not following Bladed Angel, you're missing out on an incredible channel that has some of the most unique car content anywhere on YouTube. I think you guys will all really enjoy what he puts out on a weekly basis. Next up, guys, as I'm sure you've already seen, Daily Driven Exotics uh, with a massive video entitled, I Bought My $1 Million Dream Car, New Car Delivery Day, a brand new Porsche Carrera GT. Now, believe it or not, we actually covered the fact that we thought they were gonna be getting a Carrera GT uh, about a month ago or so. There were a number of videos all in a row on the Daily Driven Exotics channel uh, that essentially hinted that they were going to be buying that sort of legacy hypercar very soon, although at the time it didn't materialize. Very excited to see what they're going to be doing with that car. Uh, they said in the video that one of the first modifications they were going to be doing was a full straight pipe exhaust system. And I can tell you, a buddy of mine has a Carrera GT. Just stock alone, they sound incredible. And straight piped, uh, it's an an entirely new level of sound. What I find a little bit interesting is that the mass majority of the comments seem more excited about the Carrera GT than they were about the McLaren P1 so many months ago. Let me know what you guys think about their new legacy hyper car and are you excited about the new mods they're going to be doing to it? It's been a long time since we've had one of the larger channels have a Carrera GT that was used on a daily basis. I'm excited to see the content they're going to produce. Next up guys, massive news on Street Speed 717. The viral videos uh, with his TRX have gotten him into a lot of trouble. One of his latest videos called My TRX Jump Video Got Me Criminally Charged with 18 Counts by the State. Yes, really. Now definitely watch the video and see what he was charged with. It's a pretty extensive list. The mass majority uh, of the charges stem from some potential contamination uh, on the waterway that he jumped during some of his videos. No doubt he'll be lawyering up and fighting the charges uh, right away. Uh, we'll definitely be following this in the future, guys. It's kind of crazy to think that all the TRX jumps and all the viral videos that we saw a number of weeks ago have led us to this moment. Want to make sure I mention Rich Rebuilds next, guys. Uh, he's doing one of the more unique builds in the automotive community. His latest video explains exactly what that is. Uh, building a V8-powered Tesla, what's taking so long? Whenever we talk about Rich Rebuilds as a channel, we have to mention some of the aspects of it that sort of differentiate him from uh, other channels in the space. Uh, a lot of very unique humor, interesting editing, and voiceover work give a very unique feel to what Rich Rebuilds does on a daily basis. Recently hitting a million subscribers, if you're not following the Rich Rebuilds channel, you're missing out on some incredible uh, Tesla action and then a bunch of one-off weird projects like the one we discussed today. Next up guys, a Burlacker brand new video out called Revealing My First Mod on My Viper. If you'll remember, the Viper uh, was the video that got him, I think it was 
700,000 hits, I believe an all-time high for his channel just a couple weeks ago. Now, he explained in the video why he hasn't been posting as much lately. He still has a, a day job, and they're uh, kind of ratcheting down right now with a lot of work. But if you want to see the great new mod that he put onto his new Viper, definitely go check it out. And I want to ask you guys what you think about the Dodge Viper as a car uh, for content on YouTube. Do you like it? Do you want to see more of it? And which iteration of the Viper over generations do you like the most? Let me know. Next up, guys, I want to mention a video from Donut Media that I think the timing of is just about perfect with all the stuff that we talked about with the EPA and the RPM Act. By the way, on the RPM Act note, we're going to have some major updates for you probably tomorrow, if I were to guess. We're starting to get correspondence back from a number of the representatives uh, that we sort of promoted contacting. So get ready for that. But while we're waiting, Donut Media's latest video is called This Indian Law Banned Car Mods. As is explained in the beginning parts of the video, if you think the US has it bad, uh, make sure to watch this video from start to finish. It'll give you some insight into how other countries have had to deal with car modifications over time. And the Indian law over there is very, very interesting in how it pertains to car modifications. As I say in pretty much every video where we discuss Donut Media, there are few places on YouTube or the internet as a whole where you can learn something uh, fascinating about the car world and do it in a way that is so entertaining. Definitely go check this video out, guys. A link for that video in the description below. Next up, guys, Heavy D Sparks uh, with a video that I was clicking on within seconds of seeing the thumbnail alone. This video is called, Can a Pickup Truck Actually Pull a House Right Off Its Foundation? I don't even know what to say other than you should definitely watch this video. It's entertaining and crazy. And as someone put it in the comment section below, it's sort of like Whistle and Diesel Home Edition, if that makes any sense. Heavy D Sparks, I'm quickly becoming a bigger and bigger fan of. They've been blowing up, uh, you know, for a long time now. And you might have known the Heavy D Sparks channel from doing a number of different collaborations with Stradman over the last year, uh, from, from racing the helicopter to tracks on his Lamborghini Aventador and Raptor. Don't miss their video, guys. Link for that also in the description below. Next up, guys, uh, one of the more unique stories that we have done over the past month or so, and it has to do with sort of a mashup and combination of creators that I never thought I would see. It happens to be Whistle and Diesel and Supercar Blondie. So what exactly happened here and why are we discussing it? Uh, for starters, uh, what you have to know about the Supercar Blondie Facebook page is it is the largest viewed Facebook page on the planet, not just automotive. They get billions with a B views every single month. And the secret to their success there, uh, we'll probably talk about this in a later episode, is that what they do is they'll watch content and basically do a reaction video on top of it, which by their definition makes it transformative. What she posted was excerpts from the Whistle and Diesel video, the Hellcat on the horse and buggy wheels. This made a lot of sense from Supercar Blondie's reaction sort of channel viewpoint. It was an 8 million hit video on YouTube, very easy to replicate some of that success by doing a reaction video on the largest Facebook page on the planet. But as you can expect, uh, there's a particular clash of styles between what Supercar Blondie does and what Whistle and Diesel does in terms of how they present their content to the public. So as soon as Supercar Blondie put this video up, Whistle and Diesel goes onto Instagram and posts this message here saying, if you want to read some real blank, uh, go to Supercar Blondie Facebook and look at the offended boomers. They're furious. To say that the Supercar Blondie populace reacted in a somewhat negative way is an understatement statement. Here's a very quick sampling of some of the comments that we saw. And there it is, the most blanked up thing I've seen all day. Obviously more money and time on his hands than brains. Uh, what were they expecting to fly with these wheels on? Waste of time and damage to the roads as well. Whistle and Diesel even got onto his Facebook account from what we were able to tell and said, look at all the offended boomers on here that think rubber harms tar-based roads. You can tell their education was at least 20 years ago. And in case you were wondering, the Supercar Blondie reaction video ended up doing almost 4 million views at the time of me recording this. So obviously, again, but that paid off very well. So why did we cover this exactly? Well, it's a very interesting thing to see two of the largest automotive general uh, channels interact in a way such as this. On one hand, you have Supercar Blondie, that her concept car videos have smashed on YouTube, now has the largest Facebook page in the world view-wise. Then you have Whistle and Diesel, whose crazy antics are netting him, you know, five to 10 million views on a good video on YouTube. Both have a very particular way about presenting their content to the public. 
Anyway, let me know what you guys think about it, and let me know what you think about reaction content as a transformative measure. It's a very interesting topic, uh, something that we probably will discuss here in the future. Next up, guys, holy cow, incredible video from Yoon Olsen. This one entitled VIP Viewing a Tycon Cross Turismo Turbo S. I love this new Porsche. I think it's amazing. I think it looks fantastic. And Yoon Olsen has one of the best cinematic sequences with this car that I have seen since its introduction just a couple weeks ago. If you've never checked out Yoon Olsen, Olsen's channel, you're missing out. He doesn't always do car vlogs, but when he does, they are just stellar across the board. Next up, guys, Tall Guy Car Reviews has been killing it in views lately. A lot of that stemming from some of his truck content with the TRX, but his latest video is called I Sold My Truck and I Regret It Already. A pretty good video overall, and if you've been missing out on his content for whatever reason, make sure to go check this one. I think you'll really enjoy it. And last, but certainly not least, guys, Mr. JWW uh, talking about building a special edition Aston Martin and DBX at the factory. Sort of a behind the scenes look at something that we generally take for granted about all the crazy luxury and supercars we discuss on a daily basis is what that all looks like on the factory floor. As a fan of the Aston Martin DBX, uh, I very much enjoyed this video. Make sure to go check it out, guys. Link for that video in the description below, as always. And folks, that's all I've got for you guys today. Uh, thanks for bearing with me. Uh, we often talk about uh, interesting or complex subjects here on the channel. It's not something that many automotive channels do. So every once in a while, things get a little bit crazy, but as long as we can remain polite and courteous in the comments, I'm pretty sure that we can open dialogues on important subjects in the future. Anyway, have a great rest of your day, guys. We'll see you tomorrow as always, I guess on our march to 100 episodes in a row, not something I ever thought we'd be able to do. Have a great rest of your day. Make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy, and I'm out. Bye.